What is going on guys? Welcome to Season 1, Episode 6 of my Unemployed Challenge in Football Manager 2019. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video. If we can hit 100 likes again, that will be very, very nice. Thank you very much, lads. Uh, in this first season uh, with Jalivara, which has come to an end now, uh, even though we're just in November, and yeah, that's about a month. Uh, we've continued about a month, and that's something I would have... I uh, wanted to let you guys know, apparently we've been in the playoffs and nothing has really come up about it, and what I want to show you is, it's the start of the transfer window for, that will be like for the next season, and uh, we're just going to continue here uh, for a second, look at this, like other players have signed for other, te other teams, so this is going to be the same day I'm going to leave, because other players, yeah, they're making their end of contract, not really end of contract, it's because the start of the window, so yeah, those players have left, so this is where I'm going to leave as well, it's sometimes football manager, I'm not sure if you would say it's a bug or something like that, but yeah, in lower divisions, like nothing really came up for us to play a playoff, and also the fact of it's kind of been registered in the club in terms of what they wanted for me. Or what they wanted from me in the competitions, if we go there, uh, yeah, the Swedish second division, we exceeded expectations, as the board are delighted that the team staved off the automatic relegation, so we got that, I got what I wanted, I suppose, or what the board wanted of me, so where we exceeded the expectations, just, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave at the same time now, like those other players did, hopefully, I don't know if you guys, most of you guys are gonna disagree or agree with that, but yeah, for me, that playoff game had to be before the end of the season and <laughs> the start of the next season's transfer window. So, yeah, we are going to resign uh, after we had a little spell at this team and we did uh, what we are. So I reckon they're just going to stay in the division probably. It just hasn't registered for them to play a playoff game. So, yeah, we will, we will resign from the job. And also, it had to resign at the end of the season, but that hasn't that doesn't show anymore, it showed that previously, so yeah, it's come at, we're at the end of the season, so many things in my mind make sense for that, so let's do that, and yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be on, on the search for a new club, and I've already said a few things about that, how I want, I want a team that is a bit stronger, a bit stronger with their club, doesn't mean we're gonna go to such a big team, but in whichever league they're situated in, that yeah, uh, just got more about them, uh, with the players at their, at their squad, uh, in the squad, at the club, and just in maybe in terms of transfer money as well, and not being amateur, we'll just see who's available to us. So yeah, we'll leave the club after yeah, getting what was expected or what the uh, what the board wanted for us to try and yeah stave off that automatic relegation, which we did. So with that, reputation is still only 5%. You take a look, it's minimal there. So really, it hasn't changed too much, and I'll show you pretty often the manager's profile more than I would in different series uh, so you can see the attribute changes and we do we would love to go like on a coaching course I tried to do it with that last team but they couldn't fund it so yeah maybe to get to a team that can fund that as well so as we take a quick glimpse there's a lot of available jobs there's a lot of Swedish ones because of yeah the season ending so there we go there's just a lot to go through and just see who's gonna be a good fit for us and of course, there's no harm in just applying for jobs now, but in England could be a safe bet, <laughs> the Sky Bet. League 2, Northampton, can't go too high. And let's see what their response will be. We just see the yeah, the job advert and we apply for the job there. We see even they would be, even though they're in a bad position, they, they'll just be a stronger club. They'll be a stronger club. But at that, their two-star reputation. And when my myself is half a star, <laughs> yeah, you don't know if that's going to be too much of a reach. So this is a team in the Swiss Challenge League. They're sitting in ninth at the moment. 16 games played. If we take a look at the rules, there's 36 games. Teams play each other four times. So even though it's a smaller division, the amount of games for the season isn't so small. They play each other four times. So is there only one relegation position as well? So they're not a good, they're not like a terrible team to go for. Again, uh, not sure if they'll be a little bit too high for us. Uh, we'll just view the job advert and apply for the job. You see the reputation though, it's fairly good. So even that may be a little bit too high. But I at least wanted to apply for a few just to do this and so you can see where we're situated. 
<laughs> with the manager's reputation. Then Mulder, oh, from Norway. This is almost, yeah, it's almost pointless, but might as well apply for it. Even though, yeah, a bit even more higher. Just, yeah, do these ones before we drop a little bit more. But so this doesn't drag on so much. I won't show every single one I apply for, but we'll continue to see what responses we get back. I'll apply for a few here that I think that would be good fits, and we'll see what happens. But say if we take a look at Darlington here, their reputation is below average. It's closer. It's closer to my reputation. Oh, they got a Will Smith. They got a Will Smith there, but I think it's a more safer option or easier option for me. I don't, I don't want to say easier, but more familiar. It's a more familiar team than all these different foreign leagues. And Darlington is sitting in a safe kind of mid-table position as well. So I just want to take a look at their yeah at their players. They got a fairly solid squad where I don't think they're missing. Uh, of course, we can't see the actual quality, like their attributes, but we can gauge off the value. We can gauge off the value of the players as well if we go across here, which of course is nothing crazy. And their estimated value is all right. It's close to a million there. And it's semi-professional. There's no harm in just applying for the job though. But they were in the highest position compared to the other teams there. So yeah, we leave it. <laughs> well, look at that, guys. That job application for Darlington, as I was talking about him, it was unsuccessful. Like, they were rejected instantly. Okay. So I just, yeah, got a couple others there. I was excited about the opportunity, so maybe we'll take a look at some of the others available. So Chester are in 19th. If we go into the general, see, media prediction is 7th. They're, like, not a terrible team in this division. They'll have solid players, I reckon, and to build off. Yeah, let's go. View job advert. Apply for the job. But we have a little interview here as well. What are your immediate thoughts in wake of your resignation uh, from Jalivara? Let's see. I say passionately, I'm very happy to be putting this particular job behind me, and I look forward to new challenges. Yeah, we had a strong relationship, but, you know, from my point of view, it was always, yeah, uh, absolutely no problems. Uh, this is strictly business, for sure, but it's more so career <laughs> business. And once more, the top option there, I just want to take a step up, yeah, on my terms. And for the fans, I'll just say, yeah, proud of their support. What else? Um, yeah, they're, they're being fantastic. A lot of questions here, isn't... No. Yeah, once more. Once more, it says it perfectly. I'm hopeful of taking a positive next step and continuing to showcase my management skills. There we go. I like the options there. I always... Well, yeah, most of the time, there's sometimes there's not options I want to say. But yeah, there's a few there. I like the story we can build through the press conferences a bit more when it's just more about your manager opposed to the press conferences when you're at a club. <laughs> These ones are a bit new to me. So we get a stack of inboxes here. Let's see if we have at least one interview. I'm, I'm not expecting too many with the ones we applied at. So a lot of them is going to be announcements of other managers. You see are there Lee Clark, he takes charge of Darlington. And Chester, ah, oh, it's unsuccessful. See, look at Chester, guys. If we take a look at general... Their reputation is only one star, and they don't even... Below average, that's massive. Or it just makes you realise. Let's see if we get any at all. It was just managers being sacked, okay? Make some available, at least. So we're, gonna, we're not getting job interviews, guys. Might take a while. <laughs> see, Jalavar is there now. They're looking for a manager. As you would expect after me resigning. We have gone for Ashton United. Ashton United in the Vanarama National League North. Uh, they're 22nd, so they're bottom at the moment. But, you know, obviously we're in November. There's plenty of games, plenty of games to be played. We can work them out of that position. And, hey, maybe this is like the same situation we were in in the previous club. But... I think even as a conference side, like Vanarama National League North, they are a more put-together squad. you got your strikers, you got your attacking mids. Maybe there's not a, a whole heap of them, uh, but you can see 
Yeah, there's not a whole lot, but this guy, ooh, that's very good. He can play both sides. And if you just take a quick look at maybe sort by their values, yeah, that's all we can yeah, judge off the quality at this point in time uh, without seeing their attributes. But yeah, enough goalkeepers, enough defenders especially. It's like a bigger squad. It's a bigger squad. And considering we did apply for a lot of others, nothing has come up. So yeah, uh, I really got to say an English job is like at an English club. It eases the mind a bit more, uh, just because it is English and I'm more familiar with the division, let's say, and not worrying about, like, promotion or <laughs> relegation, <laughs> like, what? A relegation playoff? Yeah, let's just attend the interview. So let's get down to business. Uh, very little managerial experience, and this is really where we can... This is like where you go for lower league management, even though this is in, like, more a journeyman style save. So it's just a little experiment. You gotta... Guys, you gotta start somewhere. But I've done very well in my limited time. I did what the last club wanted me, that we exceeded expectations. Don't forget, said that. So, hey... This would be a big jump from your previous club. Is it really a huge jump, though? I mean, Ashton United, I wouldn't say it's a crazy huge jump. Maybe ever so slightly. And I always see the top options as the good one to say. So I've earned the opportunity of this stature and reputation. It's not even that high anyway. You're in the Vanarama National League North and the bottom of the league, mind you. So it makes it sound like there's such a huge reputation. And uh, trying to forge my uh, forge my career once more will say that. And I can only judge off the previous club. The supporters had a good relationship. Uh, they liked me. Uh, so that's good. We'll say that. Uh, maybe not spending considerable time in a job. But I am the sort of manager who wants to win now. Short-term success. Wanna See, i got to think about what's the focus. What's the focus with this, with this team? Are we just going to try and keep him up, then leave? Or keep them up, try and build a team for promotion maybe next season. Yeah, we got to, Let me know what you think if this goes through anyway. Yeah, let me know what should be the plans with Ashton United. So yeah, I consider it well-versed with financial situations. And once more, I like to consider myself a strong motivator and leader like I hopefully showed in a few episodes so far. Uh, when I was well, when I was doing those first ones, kind of, and how I was uh, when I was playing my first few games, I got the passion and fight required to avoid relegation. And actually, my track record has to speak that already. We avoid that automatic relegation. And yeah, I'm, don't need a. Ooh, I'm all right. I'm all right with the staff. I'm more concerned about <laughs> the amount of money to bring in players. And yeah, I don't need to put in philosophies. And again, like they proposed to us, just to avoid relegation. And with the finances is an interesting one. I don't know if they'll be wanting to give me more. It's nothing massive. Like, it's 3k. That's not much at all. Maybe if I could say a slightly larger wage budget, but it depends if they can afford it as well. We'll say that though. But no more, no more requests, that's all. Just a little bit extra on the wage budget. Hopefully that doesn't scare them off too much. Okay, 38 messages. A lot is going to be about other managers getting sacked and all that, and new managers signing at a club. But hopefully, hopefully it's something for myself. So we'll go through these. A lot of, a lot of sackings. So yeah, that job application was unsuccessful. Any more... So many, so many managers sacked. Don't forget, we've got every single league loaded. So keep that in mind. Ooh, Blackpool manager sacked. Sacked by Barrow. And uh, Maidstone is also... This is, there could be a few, cl few clubs available if we don't get an opportunity now. Hashtag moron. That's not very nice. <laughs> That's it. Oh, the club name in Argentina. Hashtag moron in capitals. Okay, we just want our new job. Oh, they chose someone else. Ah, oh, I knew it, guys. I knew it. Unwilling to... Uh, I could have easily just slid into there. Ah. Uh, just wanted a little bit more money to play with. 
Oh, we got a couple guys. We've got a couple more job interviews. Uh, so we still got to focus on these, even though we see one team as all would like to join. We got a couple more interviews too. I'm happy with. So Warriors FC uh, Singapore in the Singaporean Premier League. Uh, they're third uh, at the end of at the end of their season. Now they just missed out. They missed out there in the top two, which is their top division, of course. Uh, the top team qualifies for Asian Champions League. It could be, yeah, it could be an interesting team to move into. But yeah, they just, if you take a look, the next games. So let's head into the interview. And we'll go through these, yeah, quickly. So yeah, glad you've given me the chance. But it feels like we're saying the same thing every time. So we'll get through them quick. Yeah, once more, I've done well in my limited time at the only job I've had. Uh, football is football at the end of the day. I'm trying to just, yeah, forge my career. <laughs> yeah, same options, guys. That's all we can do. And, yep, yeah, want to win now. And again, I just, I, I don't want to propose things because I feel that hurts my chance of being accepted. And, yeah, adding no philosophies. I feel that's more when you're a bigger manager and there's other teams coming after you. Let me know what you guys think. But once you just really desperately want that job, you just... Yeah, don't request anything. You just cover all bases. But then also, Longford Town, they're an Irish club in the first division there. So just take a look at more detail into the yeah league table. They finished fifth, like that mid-table. So we'll head into the interview. Probably will be pretty similar once more. Again, just the limited time in management kind of stuff. We've done all right. And yeah, earn opportunity... Just considering my options, and uh, no worries, we'll take care of the club finances, and again, we'll go through the same kind of, yeah, no philosophies type stuff, and no requests, we'll go through those, and we don't even have any expectations, they'll be, yeah, presented near the start of the next season, okay, it's fair enough, and yep, no more requests, <laughs> feel like I'm repeating myself, but yeah, to be at the start of a new job, Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to say I'm ready to take the next step in my career. Let's go. I'm confident at least one of those are going to be offered to me. The job will be offered. So let's see. As we've got another job interview. So we're going to go through this. Uh, this club is another Irish club. They're in the first division. So, yeah, you know how we go with the interviews. We'll just go through that. Okay, let's see if we get anything now. But hey, Longford fans, they consider me as the leading candidate. So maybe that could go through. But guys, yes, we've got it, yeah? The Warriors. Warriors, Warriors, Warriors FC, and I like them. Oh, all these other teams might be a little bit late. And I did like the look. I, I did say, yeah, Singaporean. I like the Warriors FC. I, I really liked that name. Their media prediction six, but they finished third, so they're coming off a pretty good season. So the players should be strong. If we take, uh, yeah, we can't take a look, but we take a look who did really well. Average rating, a uh, very good player there. Again, can't click on him, or to see his attributes at least. But you see, like his value is fifty-seven k. Uh, he's French, could be like a really dominant striker. And you can sort the value. So, yeah. Some strong players for this division, I'd like to think. So, yeah. Top division. If you, you manage to finish top, you can qualify for the Asian Champions League. Uh, team in second position qualifies for the Asian Confederation Cup. But, yeah. To, to kind of fight for that. To fight for that top position. To get in the Asian Champions League. That first preliminary round. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a different one, but I'm going to take it. So we're going to decline that interview. And the Warriors Warriors FC. Yeah, Warriors FC. We are going to finalize. So we are finally in a new job. We're in a new job here, Warriors FC. So again, start of the next episode. We'll go through all the preliminary, the preliminary things there. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited. A new job in Singapore. And we'll just go quick, uh, a few of the stars or the best players in the team. We can see them now. So he's got a few ones, but it looks like, yeah, he'll be a good striker than the other guy. Yeah, Jonathan. 
Jonathan, some strong attributes. Much better player than we had in our previous team. <laughs> Maybe not too too much better, but he's solid. He's a solid, yeah, 57k in his value. And then if we go for the most assists or play with the most assists, a very good first touch, and he's a bit quick as well in central midfield. So we'll leave it there at Warriors FC. Uh, it's the end of their season. They finished off in third. So we'll see when the next season starts. Hey, take a look at the balance as well. It's a decent, like, 500k. Not too bad. I'm happy to be at a team of this level. Take a look. Like, their reputation... Reputation is below average, which is above my reputation. Happy to take that. And if we take a look at my profile, it's still, yeah, still lower. I like the mix of the colours. <laughs> yeah, it has, like the, like, the pink and blue. I like that, with just how it looks in the game, but anyway, anyway, if we go home for a second, I was just going to wonder when, our, again, it's going to be wondering when fixtures are going to be. If we take a look at when the season starts here, yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of March, well, at least for this season, this past season, so we'll keep that in mind at least, and we'll continue, try and make sign, there's a lot of, yeah, there's different foreign players, so that's something I'm going to have to look into for sure. But either way, yeah, we'll see how all that goes. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully you do like this option uh, that we went for. See, take a look at these all different team competitions. We're just going to play through it anyway. So the current spending is a bit over. But yeah, anyway, we're going to play through the season. or we'll play through up and at this point we're in right now. Play until the season gets underway and see if we're going to make some transfers, that kind of stuff. We'll see how we go. You're going to take a look at the wage budget in the red. So we'll sort all that out regardless. Uh, and again, if you maybe don't think this is the best team, but keep in mind, we try to apply at other jobs and not even get interviews for. So we've got to take, yeah, we're still very much at the start. But I hope you guys enjoy this episode regardless. And hopefully we can have a good spell at Warriors FC. Let me know yeah, how long we should be at this club or just see how it goes, basically. I uh, don't have too much expectations. But anyway, we need to increase our reputation. So I think we need to succeed with the team a bit. And I feel we could have more success if it's like win a title or something with this team compared to our previous team. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So, yeah, not the highest reputation of leagues, but hey, it's what we've got to do at this point in the career. And we definitely have a better chance to succeed with this team, let's say, in a better position uh, the club is or yeah, and the players in the team. So anyway, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys next time.